mission. But then again, a male journalist recently asked, what's the connection? Our author, Eve Ensler, was present for the birth of her granddaughter. She was in awe of vaginas before that moment. She's in deep worship now. I was there in the room. I was there when her vagina opened. We were all there. Her mother, her husband, and I. And the nurse from the Ukraine, with her whole hand up there in her vagina, feeling and turning with her rubber glove as she casually talked to us, like she was turning on a loaded faucet. So I was there when, in the room when contractions made her crawl on all fours, made unfamiliar moans leak out of her pores. And still there after hours, when she just screamed, suddenly wild, her arms striking at the electric air, was there when her vagina changed from a shy sexual hole to an archaeological tunnel, a sacred vessel, a Venetian canal, deep well with a tiny, tiny, tiny child stuck inside and waiting to be rescued. I saw the colors of her vagina. They changed. I saw the bruised, broken blue, the blistering tomato red, the gray pink, the dark, saw the blood like perspiration along the edges, saw the yellow white liquid, the shit, the clots pushing out of all the holes, pushing harder and harder, saw through the hole, the baby's head, scratches of black hair, just, just there behind the bone, hard round memories, the nurse from the Ukraine, kept turning and turning her slippery hand. I was there with each of us, her mother and I, held her legs and spread her wide, pushing with all our strength against her pushing, and her husband sternly counting one, two, three, telling her to focus harder. We looked into her then, we couldn't get our eyes out of that place. We forget the vagina, all of us. What else could explain our lack of awe, our lack of reverence? I was there when the doctor reached in with Alice in Wonderland spoons, and there as her vagina became a wide operatic mouth singing with all of its strength. First the head, then the gray flopping arm, then the fast swimming body swimming quickly into our weeping arms. I was there later when I just turned and faced her vagina. I stood and I let myself see her all spread, completely exposed, mutilated, swollen and torn, bleeding all over the doctor's hands who was calmly selling her there. Stood and her vagina suddenly became a wide, pulsing heart. The heart is capable of sacrifice, and so is the vagina. The heart is able to forgive and repair, can expand to let us out, can change its shape and let us in. So can the vagina. It can ache for us and stretch for us, die for us and bleed and bleed us into this difficult, wondrous world. I was there in the room. I remember. <laughs>